<coughs> Greetings! This is Magic Dad 76 bringing you a new how to video. This one is actually uh, directly in conjunction with the upcoming UHC I'm doing on Saturday, April 26th. But uh, I'm making this video for all, mainly for all the players that are coming in, but it will show also how I figured it might as well make a how to video that could help other people uh, as well. It is basically going to be, uh, we're going to be using the Mumble uh, Pack to uh, allow positioning here, uh, audio, so like when you're further away from people, uh, their audio is not as loud, stuff like that. So, <clears throat> and we could get uh, an idea of where they are. So, uh, I'm just going to close out of this right now. Sorry, and... Where do I go here? First things first, you do need to get the Mumble uh, program. So you go to mumble.com and then it will say Don download Mumble, Windows, we don't need the skin. So I'm just going to download the client. And where I save it. And it takes, depending on your internet connection, it can take a, a little bit of time or a long time. Hopefully not too long. It, it looks like we got six seconds left. And I'm one of these people that will always say, let's go f go for it all. So it's done, done downloading. I'll get all the downloads done now, uh, up front. To get the Mumble plugin for Minecraft, you do need to have your uh, Minecraft m modded with Forge. <clears throat> And for the for the users that are going to be part of my Minecraft uh, UHC, we are going to be using 1.6.4. So to do that, we have to go all the way down here, scroll down to older versions. It says not recommended. I do understand that, but the plugins that we have for uh, the UHC are for uh, 1.6.4. So. We go and download mumblelink.jar and it will take us to this website, SourceForge. It will take about two seconds. Save file. To do uh, the plugins, it's very straightforward. You just copy, and we actually cut it, and then go to your mods folder, which I already have open here, and then just paste it in. And now you have Mumble, the client Mumble, installed on your Minecraft. So that's all it is to install in Minecraft. <clears throat> to install it on your computer, though, you need to go through this process. So you double click on the MSI you downloaded, click OK, and it will go through this install. So we're going to go next, we accept the user agreement, next, and we're installing the client, not the server. Next, install. And it does take a few moments for it to install. And I will come back once it's installed, so please bear with me. Welcome back. Well, Mumble just finished installing. I was just going to check my uh, email while we were waiting, but that didn't. Uh, we ran out of time, or got done before I had a chance. So now we are going to go ahead and click. Since we're going to be using it right away, I'm going to go ahead and click Start Mumble, or you can just click Finish. So I'm going to start Mumble up. It takes a few minutes for it to load. And we no longer actually need this, so I'm going to maximize the screen. And while we were waiting, I restarted Minecraft. Uh, so now we have five mods loaded. Mumble Link for Forge, extended support for Mumble Link, or extended PAS support for uh, Mumble Link. So we are in Mumble now. I've actually got a server already uh, added in, so I'm going to go ahead and click Connect. And I'm in there. 
So once you get connected, uh, we're going to actually go ahead and uh, go to settings. This part is kind of tricky. By default, it's set to this. So you have to go here and click down here where it says advanced. So we click advanced and we go to plugins. We want to make sure that link version 1.2.0 is checked. You can leave the other ones checked as well, but you need to make sure that one is checked. But this way, uh, all the other ones give you all sorts of uh, features as well when you're playing multiplayer. Then you need to check, make sure that link to game and transmit position is checked. Next, we go to audio output. You want to do positional audio. Actually, just so you know, it will take you through a test to configure it. I didn't have that here because I've already done that once, so it's already been configured on this computer. So then, this is the set settings I'm still going to be working with, but to uh, affect the distance of what you can hear from the distance away from you, or set the minimum volume to zero, and like affect the like maybe not hear anybody within uh, after 45 point meters or something. Minimum distance is going to be one. So we're going to test this out, uh, and I will have a definite setting, settings by the UHC. So uh, this is how you get in and configure Mumble, and then click Apply, and then OK. So now we got it up and running, and you can even see my mouth goes red when I'm talking. So we're going to go over here to Minecraft, go multiplayer, a madness haven, and we're going to join the server. And right here, it says Magic Dad joined the game, Mumble Linked. That's what you want to see. If you get Mumble Linked, we're, you are good to go. Everything is good. And the, uh, when you're playing with other people, it'll be configured. This way, uh, the reason why we did have it set this way, and it's nighttime, wonderful, but that's okay. I'm in creative mode right now, because I'm basically we're working on saying that figuring out the settings, uh, final settings for this. So, <clears throat> and there's a head here. We got a few heads. So. This is, these are the uh, settings for Mumble. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment, email. If you enjoyed this video and found it was helpful, give it a thumbs up. Give, me, uh, give it a rating. And this is uh, Magic Ahead 76 saying thank you for watching, and we will see you next time.